calling the Matic Toronto Canada. Welcome to this week's edition. I'm going to be looking at the Alborosi Dub Station plugin. I was very excited when I saw this was coming out and immediately bought it. Luckily, it was on sale. It's put out by AudioThing.net, and I'm already familiar with this company. I use a few of their plugins, including the Miniverb, which I absolutely think this is a terrific plugin and well worth the price. Is it? maximum flexibility and interest and it comes with a great selection of presets to get you kicked off uh, i absolutely think this is a great plugin do i use all of it no but i will tell you what i use a lot of it for is the spring reverb because it's that very it's that sound that you hear on a lot of the old vintage tubby stuff and other releases around that area and i think it's great so what i want to do is just you just give you a quick look through it um so here's just a dry track so I put up the bass line where I was showing you about getting a bass tone and stuff. I recorded a quick bass line, so that's what you're going to hear with this. So I've got the drums very, very uh, dry intentionally. So let's pop up an instance of Alborosi Dub Station. I've done the settings just so you don't have to sit there and watch me do this. Uh, so the first things first is the spring bling. This thing is great. You want to keep it rolled off closer towards the minimum side to get maximum sound out of it and the vibe. So. I'll play it for you. Here's with it on. So what I've done, I've actually got this right on the drum track itself. I could create a bus and then send the drums there and filter it if I wanted to remove some of the low end from the kick or whatnot. But for this, I actually like it overall. I like it on the entire track. I use it on a lot of skanks and stuff when I'm doing more of a Roots classic dub sound. So the spring verb, choice. Absolutely love it. It immediately adds that vibe to it. The second thing, which is great, is the echo walk here. I don't use it that much because I have a lot of other plugins and outboard gear that I use for that. But... If you're going to use it, it's well worth it. You just got to play with a little bit, I found. So here's with the uh, reverb. When you crank the input, you can get that gnarly sound. You just have to play with it to get the right balance of how much delay so it doesn't overtake it but again you can set up on a bus and you're going to be just fine this is directly on the drum track itself looking for that smooth echo groove and lastly the filter I don't use this one very much. I have other options. I actually have a Benny Dub filter, which I really like because uh, it has LFOs and a lot more flexibility and function for me. But if you want to use this to get just different sounds in the box, you can uh, throw it on there. For drums, you know, I've set it to 2K measured impedance here. Kind of see what I've got setting it with the post setting. You can hear it. So let's put it all together now. <laughs> So I'm going to bypass it all. Let's say this is the dubbed up version. And so there you go. That gives you its, I like the function. I think the, the layout of it, the graphics are fantastic. It's it's simple, it's intuitive. There's not a lot going on, but it has maximum impact as far as the sound. For me, the choice is the spring bling. Uh, it's something I'll be using for years to come and great in the box and the prices, you know, for something like this, they put a lot of time and effort into it. And I, I know these things take just countless hours and you got to think of just actually going to sample and get the actual tones from these pieces of gear then put it all together in the software compile it so for the price of which is uh i think it's 120 bucks you usually catch it on sale it's worth it because something you'll use for years like i said so there it is the alborosi dub station i give it two thumbs up well worth having and i hope you enjoyed it i hope you check it out they probably have a free trial version i'll include a link in the description as well as i'll include a link to a couple other free downloads for you to check out okay i'll see you again next week
Charismatic Dogmatics, Toronto, Canada, Bandaden, la la la, la la la.